Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Saumya Harikrishna. We have been dealing with the chapter Carbon and its Compounds. Today we will learn about Functional Groups. Functional groups are atoms or group of atoms that determine the characteristic of an organic compound. Functional group controls the reactions of that particular compound and it is the most reactive part of a compound. There are different functional group we have to study. The different types of functional groups are one is the halogen group. Halogen means elements present in the 17th group of the periodic table and there you will uh, see that these elements have 7 electrons in their valence shell. They have to gain one more electron. So here chlorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine all these are examples of halogens. If they are attached to an alkane we call it as uh, chloroalkane or bromoalkane or uh, iodo like that. We are studying only two examples in NCRT chloro and bromo. For example CH4 is a methane but one hydrogen I am removing so it becomes CH3 and I am adding bromine. So what happens this becomes uh, bromomethane. The same way if I add chlorine it will become chloromethane. Or if I add to propane, chloropropane, bromopropane, like that. The second is called an alcohol group. Here, instead of uh, halogen, what is attaching? OH group. So, we will get CH3OH. Because one hydrogen we have to remove in order to attach this group. So, OH group. So, if OH groups come, uh, then the name ends with the O. So, before what was the name? It was methane. Okay. When we write alkane, it was methane. Now we have to remove the last let us, uh, alphabet E from this. So it plus we have to add a O. So it becomes methanol. It, uh, ethane if uh, attaches OH group, it will become ethanol. Propane becomes propanol. Butane becomes butanol. Pentane becomes pentanol and hexanol. Now the same way there is aldehyde group CHO. In detail, if you write the with the bonding C single bond H double bond O. This is the structure of CHO. Uh, it's short form we can write like this. So if that comes the name ends with the R. For H C H O this is the simplest aldehyde called the uh, with the al group attached to uh, methanol. So again E will go and uh, al will come it is it becomes methanol. Okay. Ethanol, propanol, butanol, pendanol, hexanol. All comes means aldehyde. Then comes a carboxyl group. Carboxyl group and acid group. Its bonding is like this. C, double bond O, single bond OH. If it comes, we call it as OE. It ends with a oic acid. So, we can write H, C, O, O, H. It is methanoic acid. Uh, the same way, but, uh, Ethanoic acid, propanoic acid, butanoic acid, pentanoic acid, hexanoic acid. Whereas ketone group if comes, there is a slight difference. It is like this. The bonding is like this. So carbon has to be attached to two other carbon atoms. So uh, the name ends with a on. Okay. Writing one but it we pronounce it on. So is methanol possible? No, because only one carbon atom. So this carbon has to be attached with the two other carbon atoms. So methanol and ethanol do, uh, do not exist because they do not have three. Minimum three should be there to form uh, the simplest ketone, right? So the simplest ketone is propanone. Okay, please remember. So propanone, how will it come? CH3, C, CH3. CO, CO group should be between two carbon atoms. So, minimum three should be there. If hereafter, all can exist. Butanone, pentanone, hexanone, like that. So, a very important question, which is the simplest uh, ketone group. That is nothing but uh, the propanone. Okay. We will see the structure of different, uh, first one, halogens group. That is, uh, suppose this is methane, C, H, H, H. H here I am adding one chlorine so it becomes chloromethane right suppose, suppose if I add here what is this chloroethane This is chloro 
ปีเฮียร์ออร์เรชเฮียร์ออร์ลีคลอรินดิสิสคลอโรเปนดีโอเคสอริปันตูทรีฟอร์คลอโรบิวเทน Now one, two, three, four, five. Here on hydrogen. This is chloro pentane. And the last one. Chlorohexane. Okay, so these are different uh, alkane uh, with the um, halogen chlorine as the uh, member. Okay, Hal the uh, functional group. Now, if you replace it with the bromine, then you will get all this change. Br. So, bromomethane. What is Br? Bromo ethane. If we are akumbol, bromo propane. If we are bromo butane. If we are bromo pentane. If we bromine akumbol, bromo hexane. Here we saw different uh, chloro and bromo that is halogen as the functional group. Only thing to remember here we are using the word chloro or bromo just prior to or as a prefix that is before the actual name. Then we write the name of that alkane. Now we will see alcohol as a functional group. So this is um, supposed to be suppose if it is H it is a methane. Then if I add OH it becomes methanol. Okay. Here if I add OH already ethane. I am removing E and adding O, ethanol. Here, propane, so becomes propanol. Here, OH if I add, butanol. Here, pentanol. And here, hexanol. Here we saw different alkanes with the OH as the functional group, which is the alcohol group. So the name changes into old. Here the name ends with the old. So uh, condensed structural formula is here CH3OH. Here C2H5OH. This is a molecular formula. Or you can condense, you can write CH3CH2OH. So like that you can write. Here what will come? Butanol if you write. It has to be C4, it should be 8 plus uh, uh, 2, 10, but here only 9 are there, OH. But in a different way total, if you write, you can write C4, H10, O. Because this H also added here, H10, O. This way also, if you see in the question paper, you should know how to identify. So, pentanol will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So, C5, H11, OH. Because 1 H less. Here C6, H it was supposed to be 14, but 13 OH. Okay, so this is how we are writing um, alcohol series. Aldehyde group, first one, methadol, you know, methane is CH4. There is only one carbon atom. It has got already CHO group with the three valencies. So now only one hydrogen left. So it is methanol, simplest aldehyde. So when it comes to ethanol, hereafter I did not write. So here two carbon atoms, first is CH3, second one will be CHO. The same way, propanol out of three, the last one will have CHO. Next butanol also, last one will be CHO. Pentanol and hexanol. So CHO group is aldehyde group. And the name ends with the R. Oxalic acid, COOH group. So first one, C, single bond, OH, double bond, O. 
Hence, three valencies over, only one more. So, this is methanoic acid or HCOOH. Now, second onwards, the same like aldehyde, only thing here, H, sorry, OH, O. This is etano ethanoic acid. Or we can write CS3, COOH, ethanoic acid. Now, 1, 2, 3, H, 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 H. OH O. This is propanoic acid. 1, 2, 3, 4, OH O. Rest on H. Butanoic acid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here is pentanoic acid. This is hexanoic. So only thing at the end carbon you can add the functional group. Ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, propanoic acid, butanoic acid, pentanoic acid, hexanoic acid. The name ends with the oic acid. The last functional group is keto group, ketones. Okay, so C double bond O. We know uh, methanone and ethanone are not possible because there is there should be two carbon on both the sides. So total three should be there minimum. C, uh, C, C, middle carbon O. I cannot give here, here also because it should have both valency satisfied with carbon on both sides. So H, 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 propanone. 1, 2, 3, 4. Butanone. And then on. So we have seen all the functional groups starting from haloalkanes, then we uh, wrote about alcohol group, aldehyde group, carboxylic acid group, then uh, ketone group. So these all you have to write and practice any structure if asked you should be able to write the structure. If you understood what I taught please like share and subscribe to my channel biology my passion. Thank you for watching.